phones, one loan was discharged, let's say like the 20th discharge, let's say the lender is comes and bids on the property next week or a couple weeks from now, and um, I bid higher, okay, the house would be mine, as you just said. What about the 20 loan? Like about it's an 80 20 loan? Yeah, there's two loans on the property. Two loans, one of the second yeah. loan? Did the second lender bid at the sale? No, nah, the second, the 20 loan was uh, charged off last month, actually. Okay, so they won't bid. You mean charged off in bankruptcy? Uh, no, I'm just charged off, period. They just okay, charged, charged off has something to do with the fact they have a deed of trust secured against the property. Okay. So it has nothing to do with it. Right. They still have the right to go to the sale. Did they go to the sale and bid? No, nah, the sale is on uh, Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday. So they have the right to go to the sale and bid also, or what happens, typically they do not go to the sale, and so people bid up from the senior, right, the okay. foreclosing lender, right. and any excess, you're going to see that later, any excess money would go to that that junior lender, even though they have a discharge. Oh, is that right? Yeah, keep that in mind. I'll talk to you proudly about it later. Okay. All right? Thanks. Okay, here we go. Here we are at the courthouse for a sale. Ready? Everybody ready? Now, what you need to understand about a sale, for those of you that haven't been here, a requirement is you've got to wear sunglasses. Let's see. <laughs> what? What? Look, he's got sunglasses, he's got sunglasses, he's got sunglasses. This guy looks like a reject from Motley Crue. He's got sunglasses. She's got sunglasses. This guy's got sunglasses. He just doesn't want you to see them. The mafia character that just showed up here wouldn't turn around no matter what I said. Okay? Okay, everybody get a piece of paper now. I'm going to teach you about real estate the way they teach, taught us in law school. Everybody get a new sheet of paper? Turn it sideways, and um, I want you to draw a little house. We're really bad at drawing in law school, so draw a little house. And what I want you to show you is that this house, house is worth 200000 Now, how do I know it's worth 200000 Who's my realtor over here? What's your name? Steve. Steve, where are your realtor? In Irving, Texas. Irving, Texas. How many cards did you bring with you today? Not very many. <laughs> You're going to go to a networking group this morning, right? No. <laughs> you weren't going to go. Okay. What's your phone number? Let everybody know your phone number. 214-460-9191. Are you a good realtor? I think I'm the best. Pretty good. You got that? Yeah. Got his phone number? You don't want to miss the phone number for the best realtor. In what city? Irving, Texas. What street? Brentwood Court. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. So I asked uh, Steve to look at three things. To look at... Uh, current listings, write that down. Number two, to look at sales comparables, homes that have sold in the past six months. And number three, homes that are currently in escrow, pending, we call those, right? Right, Steve? Now, he looked at um, current listings. He looked at homes that have been um, sold in the past six months. And he also looked at um, uh, pending, those are in escrow. And he said to me, after doing all the research, he said, Lloyd, this house was worth a lot more than 200000 a couple months ago, but in today's market, it's only worth 200000 Is that right? That's right. Good, right. So number two, I looked at my contractor. I asked my contractor, what's my contractor's name? Joe. 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 So no, this is your alias. What's your real name? Joe. Joe. Is that short for something longer? No. Just Joe. Okay. So the good thing about a contractor, he has a really short name. Look for contractors that have really short names. It's really helpful. So I asked Joe to look at the house and check it out for me before I bid. He looked at the roof and the foundation and the windows and the doors and the heating and the air conditioning and the plumbing. And Joe said the house is in really good condition. It's worth two hundred thousand. Number three, I asked my title rep at Adobe Title. She's not here today, is she? And, and so she said to me that yeah, houses. Uh, I went. I said look for mechanics liens or tax liens or any problem with the chain of title. She looked at all that and she said, no problem. It's everything's clean, it's worth 200,000. So what's it worth? Yeah. Write it down, you need to worry about it today. It's worth 200,000. <clears throat> okay, now there's a first. There was a first. $100,000, give me a lender, anybody? Come on, I let it. Bank of America. Bank of America. Good. They love the foreclose. Let's use that. All right. Hundred thousand. It's in first position. How do we know it's in first position? It's on the first floor. <laughs> There's a second. Fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Give me another lender. Anybody? Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Good. They love the foreclose too. Put down Wells Fargo in second position on the second floor. How do we know they're in second position? 
They're on the second floor. And by the way, in Texas, what determines whether a lender is in first position or second? Who files it first? It's not based on the amount, okay? It's not based on when the document is signed. It's who files it first. Other states, it's, it's never on how much. It's always on, on who signs it first. But in, in Texas, a lot of other states, it's when it's recorded or filed first. Okay, I'll make note of that. And what we do in law school is they teach us each, put each one based on priority on the floor. I'm working with a house right now that has 14 floors. <laughs> so you learn how to do it. keeps everything really organized. Okay, how much is the homeowner's equity? 50. Right? It's in the attic. Yeah. Now you see it's in the it's in the attic. It's the most vulnerable thing. It's the first thing to go in a good rain. So that's why you see now the homeowner's equity is in the attic. Okay. Okay. Good. This is the house we're going to be bidding on. Um, who's the foreclosing lender? Who's that? Bank of America, senior lender. How much do they owe? Good. Who's the second lender? How much do they owe? Good. Uh, who, how much is homeowner's equity? Yeah. Great. Okay, good. Good group. You're a good group. Keep it up. How much is the place worth? 200 Great. Okay, everybody stand up. We're going to go to the sale. Everybody stand up. Yeah. Put on your sunglasses. <laughs> okay, good. Now, here's the very first thing you're going to do, because you're all going to hate each other in a minute. So what I want you to do is everybody turn to the window. Turn to the window, and I want you to come up to the person in front of you and give them a real quick five-second massage, okay? Okay, I said five seconds, I have an hour back there. Okay, wait, nobody sit down, it's the trustee sale, turn to face that wall. Okay, now give that person a five, ten second massage. Come on, let's go, let's go. Nobody sit down, nobody sit down, let's go. Okay, okay, now, take a moment, introduce yourself to somebody you don't know. Just somebody you don't know.